After a devastating military conflict, which is the war called the Great War, it was the largest massacre in the history of mankind. One of the spies who calls Klaus has built a team to take on a difficult and impossible mission. But this team had a zero success rate because they were losers and had no experience. And they will use everything they have to prove their success in this mission. The episode begins with this person telling Klaus that he has a special mission for him. And starting tomorrow, you will separate from the team to carry out an individual operation. This is what they call mission impossible. The success rate is less than 10% and failure means death. He asks, are you ready for that? Klaus told him, of course, I'm ready, as long as these are your orders. And the teacher tells him that if you come back alive after the mission, his title will become the greatest spy in the world. And this director speaks and says that 10 years have passed since the end of the Great War, and here in the Republic of Dean we have built espionage academies and the students undergo harsh training. And she rejoices for me very much and says finally I will go out. And the director says to her, I told you that it is just a temporary graduation, and there is a newly formed spy team, and he says that he wants to recruit you to know your level. And from today the cabinet office will borrow you temporarily. The notice says that you will find out the details on the site. And you go. Lily to the place and enter and say must be the church from here. But you enter everywhere and there is no one. And then there is a hidden place and you enter it and see a very huge palace and tell me that it is a wonderful palace. I think this is the form of a spy shelter that the cabinet office builds itself. This must be the place where all the talented spies are waiting for me. She rushes to me and says the codename Flower Garden has arrived. Lily is surprised and says they are all girls? This girl told her you are late. And you ask her, do you have any field experience? How are your grades in the academy? She told to me, who am I? I am here on a temporary graduation and I am a villager from falling. She said it, you also look like us. Klaus appears and thanks them for coming. And this spy team is called Tomoshibe. I am the leader of the team, and Tomokobi has been developed as a team that specializes in impossible missions. A month from now we will do an impossible mission and the training will start tomorrow. And your task today is to get to know your teammates. And he sends them a letter in which the rules of joint living are written, and it makes me very happy that they will live together. The next day we see Klaus gather them all and tell them I see that you got to know each other quickly and today we start our training. And Monica tells him before we start I have some questions. What are the job details? And why did you choose us? Ada told her I can't give you any details at the moment. A month from now, we will infiltrate the hostile Galagod Empire and carry out Mission Impossible. And that's all I can tell you. She tells me I don't understand anything. He said don't worry let me explain to you. And we see that God is with him and he says to them, can any of you open this? All girls try but fail. She tells me this is difficult and it takes at least 5 or 10 minutes. And he takes the instruments from them and in the blink of an eye he opens them. The girls are amazed and he tells them that once they take my lessons, you will be able to do this easily and during the month I will train them here in the shadow palace until we are strong enough to complete the impossible missions. And he tells them about the lock opening lesson, just use Pico's lock opening tool correctly, and the lesson will soon be over. She tells him to tell me we were hoping for more explanation. He told her I already explained. Ali tells them all the lessons he will teach. But they don't understand anything. We see the girls sitting together and Monica says, is this man crazy? She said to her, Sibylla, I do not know how we will complete the task. And she replies to ANIT and tells her that we will all die. But for me to tell them, girls, to calm down, I am sure that he has a plan and will definitely implement it. Sarah says I discovered something. We are a group of losers and a teacher who cannot teach. I think we are going to die and this teacher of ours has no intention of taking us all out alive. She tells me that I am a spy and I want to change the world. I wonder why he bothered us by leaving our academies and coming here. She says I can't die, we may be losers, but we have dreams and we want to fulfill them. We see Lee, who went to Klaus's room and told him what to do. He said I'm trying to create new teaching methods. 
And you tell him to me that I think you're taking it seriously. And you ask him, do you have any ideas yet? He told her never there is nothing I do not know what to do. She told him what if we went sightseeing? And we see the nice scenery, and this will help me to think. He told her tomorrow we take a little break and go. The next day, we see Lee and Klaus in town, but there are no girls with them. Klaus tells her, where are the girls? She told him they all refused. He told her to let's get them some souvenirs. On their way, you tell him that the sunset is beautiful and I want to see it. He told her, we will go, come on. And they reach this place, and it is very crowded, and he tells her that this is Lake Imai and the most famous tourist attraction in the region, and she enjoys the nature that is here. Unfortunately, there is no empty boat because of the traffic. She told him that there was a boat. And they ride the boat and see the sunset, and whoever admires the view says, let me remember this view because these are amazing landscapes. And he tells her that one day someone planted a bomb in Al Kakab market and he was an imperial agent and he was trying to assassinate one of us. And people who knew the information entered a scheme. Would you tell me that they were our fellow spies? He told her that the world we are in is full of pain and sadness, but there are traces of wars. But our people slowly began to rejoice again. And the only people who can't protect themselves are spies like us. And you tell me that I can die at any moment. That's why the seven of us were chosen as a bunch of losers. The only thing that kept me going through the difficult years at the academy was the idea that one day I would be able to thrive. And I realized the importance of it. But I'm sorry, I can't watch you. I always have time to get out of control. And suddenly, to me, poisonous gas was urging him. And he falls to the ground and says don't worry, it's just a toxic gas that only paralyzes movement. And he says to her, why are you not doing anything with you? She told him, because this depoison does not work for me. And I function as my body's antitoxin. I was the only survivor in my village during the war. Since then, I want to be a spy and save my country, and I want to change the world. And when we spent the day together, I made sure that you cannot teach. If we remain Tamashibi, we will all die. And I specialize in poisons, and I beat you the minute I got on the boat. And he says to her, what do you want to check? She said I want you to hire us all in other spy teams. And I'm sure you can do it, and if you don't cooperate, I'll stab you with a toxic needle and you'll be dead within a minute. He said your goal is to survive? She said yes and told him you lost, and I hope you agree to all that I asked of you. Klaus said to her, I acknowledge the efforts, but I have to ask you how long should I continue in this game? And suddenly we see the limitations in a man who is mine. She says we are drowning. He told her that since last night I realized everything, and I doubted that you would do something in a crowded place like this lake. And I chose a boat far from the people to do everything I wanted. She said I removed the lake from my list to make sure that you will not know when I will attack you. And she tells him to me, how did you know that we will board this boat? And do you see a word written on the boat while it is out of service? He told her that it is difficult to see this, but it is very clear if you focus a little. She said you did all this? And she tries to remove the handcuffs, but Klaus tells her that she doesn't know, and he tells her that you are not qualified to be her enemy. I felt that you were planning to attack me from the moment you entered the room. And he says give me the treatment and I can get up and save ourselves before the boat sinks. And I forgot it at home. And ask him for the key to the handcuffs. He said to her, I don't know, but I will be able to remove it, but if I get this poison treatment. She told me not to worry, the effect of the poison will disappear after ten minutes. He told her five minutes later, the boat would have sunk. Finally, Klaus saved them from drowning. And you tell me, I thought I would drown. Klaus said, don't upset yourself, you were good. And she says I'm all I wanted to be a spy, I'm proud of myself. Klaus said, I will appoint you as the leader, Tamashibi, and I will be the leader of the team, and you will be with us to succeed in this mission. She said medicine and the mission are that you must study correctly to succeed in it. He told her, don't worry, I solved the problem and came up with new teaching methods, and that's your anger. The next day, Klaus gathers the girls again and tells them that you misunderstood me, 
and I gathered you to apologize to you for your misunderstanding, and I do not want any of you to be killed. We will help each other and do the job, and I chose this group. I will not let any of you die. And Sarah says, I heard that this impossible mission has a death rate of 90%, even first-class spies. He told her not to worry, I am with you, and I am not a trivial spy, I am the greatest spy in the world, and if we work together, this task will be child's play for us. And tell them to me that Klaus will lead us to the top. And I, as the leader of the tribe, will guarantee you that. And Klaus tells them I've come up with a curriculum that will improve your skills.